Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here. These are probably the coolest dragon themed rounds that I have ever seen. Welcome one and all to episode 206 of In Focus Friday, where we have a good close look at cool things made of silver and gold. And today's episode is sponsored by the Germania Mint. A big thank you to them for sending me the new Fafnir silver rounds. I might well say coins a number of times in this video. They are technically rounds if I say coins. Let me know how many times I get it wrong down in that comment section. So a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Let's have a good close look at a very cool thing made out of silver. Now. As this is a sponsored video, I have been sent these for free. I have not paid for them. That said, I aim today to give an objective overview and review of this particular round rather than coin and let you guys make up your own minds if you're interested in them. There's some information down in the description below to the Germanium Mint's website where you can see the full range of these Fafnir coins. And one thing that I do want to mention is we're not tied to the success of these rounds. If you go and purchase them from the Germanium Mint, we don't get any kickback or anything like that. Um, you know, we are here to give a fair and objective review of these coins. Now that said, I love these. I absolutely love these. I genuinely think these are the best dragon themed silver rounds that I have seen to date. And not only are they incredible in their design, but also they have some really cool additional features. And you can see we've got a really weird looking capsule there. We'll get to that in a moment. But here are both sides. The Germania Mint sent me two. This, uh, this type of coin, I said it's the first time I've done it, this round is best enjoyed in pairs, I have to say. A little bit of a marketing gimmick perhaps to make you buy two, but at the same time, it's well worth doing if you can do it and get this double capsule, because this is the, this is the creme de la creme, this is the party trick here. If you take the other side and you put it down in the right place, you get yourself one giant great big dragon, and that is Fafnir in all his glory. Look at that really very very clever and uh, you've got the lid to the other side of the capsule as well which you can then put on and Bob's your uncle you're done and it's really very attractive as well uh, you know the detailing from all of the Germanian mints rounds have has always been sublime their minting technology and their minting and design technology is I think second to none on the market there is no doubting that these are superb in the level of detail, the level of design, and the craftsmanship of the minters. So commendations have to be sent to them for the simply stunning work that goes into these. And they are different. They are, you know, as I've been saying in this video, they're not coins. They are rounds, which is a really interesting one coming from Europe. And it does set them apart. The only negative, which I will always say in these uh, reviews of Germania Mint stuff, is that because of that, uh, designation as a round, not a coin. It does attract additional taxes for European buyers. That said, I kind of think that the premiums are worth it on these. Certainly, right now in uh, you know in, in the world we live in, with spot price being where it is, I think that these are a pretty good buy. Is it something I'd rush out and buy a roll of? Is it something I'd buy you know ten? 10 tubes of or something. Um, unlikely because I think for me it's something to enjoy and collect uh, rather than to stack en masse. Uh, but that said, I can see these doing very well. You've got to look at my rule of three. My rule of three goes for all of the, the coins that I look to purchase or invest in that are slightly more collectible. The first thing is the aesthetics of it and the design. And you've got to admit this is just off the charts crazy. The amount of detail that's gone into this and the amount of thought and energy that's gone into making it kind of an interactive coin as well. There you go, I've said it wrong again. Interactive round as well, because it's two parts. You can put them together in this figure of eight style capsule. Uh, it's really, really cool. Dragons are incredibly popular. That's the second thing. Is there a buzz about dragons? Is there a buzz about the design? Is there a buzz about the coin? Yes, and the Germania Mint are rising up in that ranks of being the ones which do incredible work. And then the mintage is always my last question. Now, this particular uh, Silver BU has a mintage of 25,000. Here's the COA. Uh, I actually ended up with two COAs. If you buy them individually, I suspect they'll come in this black uh, flip here with the COA underneath. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how you get hold of this, whether it comes kind of as a pair or whether you have to buy the capsule and buy two separate coins. Uh, that I don't know. But the specifications on this are all in there, as you can see, and it's 25,000 as a mintage for these. So for a one ounce premium round, actually, that's pretty good. There are a lot of Perth Mint 
um, releases which have higher mintages and similar premiums. So there's a lot going for it in terms of the aesthetics, the buzz, the design and the mintage. So it does have, in my opinion, a pretty good you know, chance of doing very well as a collector's coin. The Germanium mint coins generally have held value pretty well across this last couple of well, years now that they've been going. And uh, I, I like that they are bringing out new designs, new releases, and this Germania Beasts series is what we are seeing now. And I kind of hope that they're gonna follow through with this double capsule, this dual capsule look and feel to it as they go throughout the series. I'd be interested to see what other myths and legendary beasts they can come up with uh, and design and have double-sided you know designs to it that that will be a thing to look at in the future now this particular series does come with a couple of other unique pieces within it and as with the other releases in the germanium mint they do have some other sizes there's a two ounce version uh, I'm reading here, or is it the two one ounce versions? Actually, it's the two one ounce versions, beg your pardon. So at the moment, there are only one ounce versions of this, but there is a gold gilded and rutherium plated version, and there's a kind of high relief antiqued version, which actually, no, now that I'm looking at it, that is, I think, the two ounce version. So the high relief version is the two ounce version of it. So uh, basically, has a slightly larger diameter, which is a nice refreshing change. One of the criticisms that I have. Uh, levied in. It's, it's a minor criticism on the Germanium Mint is that some of their other larger weights are simply the same design but a thicker version of the coin and often a bigger version of the coin would really highlight some of the designs like a 10 ounce Queen's Beast just blows up with absolute incredible detail so to have uh, a slightly larger diameter face one and that's sort of antiqued with all these lovely colors on the dragon and everything is pretty cool so all of that is uh, linked down in the description below to the germanium mints website where you can go and have a look now the actual um design here is of fafnir uh, and i want to give um, credit to uh, natalia dan uh, daniz I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, uh, who is the uh, planner and creator of this, and I believe the designer as well. And the visualization of Fafnir here really is very, very good. You know, this dragon is where everything started. It's where myths and legends of dragons started in Norse and Germanic cultures. And it's really, really well represented here. I absolutely love the way the dragon looks. It's got that old kind of western world look to the dragon's head there it's also got this kind of eastern feel with a long thin snake uh, like body but it's absolutely awesome the design is fantastic and Fafnir of course is yeah, it's the king of all dragons he is the most intelligent the oldest the one that started it all so it is a very fitting design to have on this simply stunning silver round on the other side here you can see some of the other particulars we've got obviously the germania mint uh, or germania 2020 embossed in the dragon side there with the germania mint eagle and five mark now that's obviously harking back to a time when there was marks deutschmarks and so on so uh, it's not actually a denominated coin which as i said earlier in the video does make a difference for us here in the united kingdom not so much if you're outside of the eu it will probably just be a premium coin but for <laughs> premium round sorry let me know in the comments how many times i've said coin wrong it's it's the way my brain works i just can't get over it um but yeah it will make a difference for uk and european buyers um but i don't think too much to be honest like it, it really isn't actually that bad in the grand scheme of things for a premium coin. I've certainly spent more on um, you know, premium proof items from the Royal Mint and other places. So it's each to their own in terms of what uh, you might want to do with it as an investment. Personally, I um, will not be rushing out and buying lots of them. If I hadn't been sent this one by the Germanium Mint, I would have gone out and bought it for sure because it's absolutely awesome. I love dragons and having a dragon themed collection is a pretty cool thing. At the World of Dragons coins from Provident Metals and now these ones here uh, from the Germanium Mint. Hopefully, I don't know if there'll be more dragons to come in the series, but um, it's certainly starting out well as a pretty cool thing indeed. So there we have the Fafnir dragon. As you can see, the, you know, the twinning on the back is perfect as well. Absolutely awesome stuff. Really, really cool stuff from the Germanium Mint. A big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and for sending these rounds to us. I really do appreciate all the support that the Germanium Mint gives. And that is simply down to all of you guys for watching. So a big thank you to all of you for watching today's video. If you enjoy this coin, I'd love to know your thoughts on it and opinions. So please do uh, put what you think about this coin down below uh, in that comment section and hit the thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. 
And if you want to get other content from us here on the Backyard Bullion channel, go and check out our memberships page as we do now have memberships and you can join for behind the scenes footage of silver pouring and video making and stamping and hammering and all of that. We're going to be doing some monthly behind the scenes footage. It's uh, going to be a pretty cool long feature video to showcase what we kind of do and uh, also other membership perks as well. If you want to sponsor a particular video, if you want to have a particular topic, we've got those options down in there as well. Otherwise, that's it from today's video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.